parts which fuse together across the shoulder. The initial part is at this, um, it originates actually from the spine and acrial process of the scapular and it goes down and inserts into the deltoid tuberosity. Its function is actually to flex the shoulder. If, you, if we peel this layer away, um, we come across the infraspinatus which lies primarily in the infraspinous fossa, which is actually the little region in the scapula. I don't know if you can really see, but that's the scapula down there, so it's in that little region. Um, and it originates in the infraspinous fossa and inserts into the small circumcised area of the lateral side of the greater tubercle of the humerus, which is the greater tubercle of the humerus is right there. Um, and its purpose is actually to extend or flex the joint depending on the degree of extension or position of the joint when the muscle contracts. And it also prevents medial rotation when the weight bearing and provide lateral stability to the shoulder joint. Um, if we reflect the distal half, actually, it's kind of difficult, but there is the um, subtendinous synovial bursa, which is basically a little sac that is filled with fluid and it reduces friction. Okay, going down here, actually, this is... Um, Sorry, that was the infraspinous fossa, or in the infraspinatus, and now this is the terrace minor, which in, originates from the infraglenoid tubercle. So down here, and um, it? And inserts into uh, and inserts into the terrace minor tuberosity of the humerus. So it goes inserts here and starts from up here. Its action is to flex the shoulder, to rotate the shoulder laterally, and prevent medial rotation when bearing weight. Going over here now, so it's on the other side of the scapula, this um, right here, um, is the supraspinatus, which is and it's wider and larger than the infraspinatus, so you can see the difference between the two. Um, and it originates from the supraspinous fossa, which is underneath here, it's a little, uh, it's basically a groove in the scapula, and prevent, and, um, inserts into the greater tubercle of the humerus. So the humerus, once again, is right here, so it, it originates here, goes down here. Um, the action of the supraspinatus is to extend and stabilize the shoulder joint. Okay, going underneath here, actually, is the subscapularis. It's a big muscle down there. Um, it, it originates at the subscapular fossa and inserts into the lesser tubercle of the humerus. So basically, um, underneath is the fossa of, on the scapula and it goes into the greater tubercle of the humerus here. Um, the action of the supraspinatus is to extend and stabilize the shoulder joint. Moving on to here is the terrace major which originates from the caudal angle and adjacent caudal border of the scapula. Um, the caudal surface of the subscapularis, which inserts into the terrace major tuberosity of the humerus. Um, so it goes down there. Um, and the action of the terrace major is to flex the shoulder, rotate the shoulder medially, and prevent lateral rotation. And finally, we get to the core... Wait, can you pause it?